Number 16, 1967 Canada of Dollar from Special Mint Set, graded as SP68 by PCGS. Powder blue, antique gold, olive gray, and champagne pink iridescence are seen on both sides of this expertly preserved superb gem. Universally reflective with a full strike and virtually pristine appearance, this elusive specimen ended up selling for $2,400. Number 15, this is 1934 Washington Quarter with double die obverse. Graded in mid state 65 plus by PCGS, a dramatic doubling is readily evident. On in God we trust. This is a flashy, vibrantly lustrous specimen. Vaunted Stella Colbert registry set with supremely rusty ice white surfaces and bold striking definition, nearly pristine on both sides with simply outstanding eye appeal. It was sold for $2,937.50. Number 16, 1961 Woodward Dam in Mint State 67 Plus with full bands. It displays bold definition and smooth, flawless surfaces. George's rainbow toning on the obverse adds to the already superb eye appeal. PCGS Plus grade for premium quality at the top of end of the signed grade. It ended up selling for $3,400. Number 13, this is 1977D Knuckle in MS67 Plus condition with full steps. According to NGC price guide, as of August 2023, a Jefferson Nickel from 1977 in circulated condition is worth between 10 cents and 20 cents. However, on the open market, 1977 day nickel in pristine uncirculated condition sells for as much as $190. MS67 plus graded full step specimens are very scarce and worth hundreds of dollars. This one was sold for $4,973.62 with buyer's fee. Number 12, this is 1914 D. Lincoln Center MS64 red condition. According to NGC, though sharply struck 1914 D cents are found, most have moderate dye erosion and loss of detail. The label of Lincoln's coat being a shallow feature of the design, often lost to severe dye polishing. This rarity is often faked by adding a D mint mark to the Philadelphia coins or by shaving down the first four on the 1944 D cents. Both alterations are easily detected. This specimen was sold for $4,320. Number 11. This is 1957 The Error Penny struck on a 10 cent planchette, graded in mint state 64 by PCGS. A 1957 D struck on a 10 cent planchette is a type of mint error coin. This means that during coin production process, a cent die was used to strike a planchette. That was intended for a dime. Mint errors like these occur when there is a mistake in the machinery or feeding process at the mint. Such error coins are highly collectible among numismatists due to their rarity and uniqueness. Bright and lustrous silver with some deeper highlights. Superb quality error coins that ended up selling for $4,370. Number 10, here is 1963 Washington Quarter in Mint State 67 Plus. According to Stax Powers, peripheral toning in iridescent powder blue yields to equally inviting pinkish silver and champagne gold towards the centers. The surfaces are fully frosted in finish and expectably smooth for the assigned grade. Very few survivors from the mintage of 74,316,000 circulation strikes as are well preserved and visually appealing as is premium quality MS67+. Plus. It fetched the sum of $6,600. Number 9, this is 1946S Washington Quarter in Mint State 68. Approaching perfection, this tantalizing smooth 46S Quarter does not reveal so much as a single trivial detraction. Potent frosty luster is very much in evidence, however, the beautiful toning in orange, gold, royal purple and silver rose colors is simply exquisite. According to Stax Powers, 
This is one of the finest known examples in PCGS census and it ended up selling for $7,200. Number 8, moving on with this rare Canada of dollar with incredible mint error, 1973, 50 cent piece struck in a 1.6 gram copper planchet on obverse. Great days PR67 by NGC, a copper disc of non-standard weight for US coinage, is struck into obverse of this proof 1973 as half dollar. The reverse has a normal appearance, the copper disc has attractively toned in ocean blue, peach gold, sea green and plum red hues. The remainder of a coin has a clad alloy and remains brilliant. The copper disc is moderately off center within the obverse, favoring the southwest. It was sold for $10,800. Number 7, 1959D Washington Quarter in Mint State 67. CEC proven wonderful rarity. This beautiful piece is fully struck and fully brilliant with radiant surfaces that are nearly pristine. An important specimen for the high-end Washington Quarter collectors that ended up selling for $7,637.50. Number 6 here is 1934D Washington Quarter with heavy motto and small D mint mark. Graded in mint state 67 by PCGS, this enchanting super gem really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. Both sides are dressed in a bold array of multicolored iridescent toning that includes shades of pale apricot, pinkish rose, golden olive, champagne pink, and pearl gray. The FS501 attribution of this issue refers to what Bill Fivers and J.T. Stanton believe is just a single leftover die from the 1932 issue. 1932D issue attributably by a small d mint mark that's also known as a, as a type of 1932. The authors describe it as a rare variety by any standard. It was sold for $11,400. Number 4. This is 1944 Lincoln sent with D over S repunched mint mark. Highly soft after wartime error penny. This is a strong over mint mark. The secondary S is evident clearly protruding from the top of the D. The MS66 Plus grade by PCGS adds to the overall value of a coin. It was bargained for $13,500. Number 4. Here is 1932 Washington Quarter in Mid State 67. Attractively toned key date issue is grade proven by CAC. A magnificent example of this first year Washington Quarter issue. Vivid rainbow tints can be seen on both sides, most prominently on the obverse, framing silver centers with strong lusters throughout. Sharply struck with abundant eye appeal, it ended up selling for $15,000. Number 3, 1977 D.A. Howard dollars struck on a 40% silver planchet, graded in mean state 63 by NGC. A clad Ike should weigh 22.7 grams, while the transitional error coin has weight of 24.9 grams. Struck on a planchet intended for 40% silver San Francisco Bicentennial Ike dollars. A lustrous and nicely struck mint error with peripheral straw gold toning and a few minor obverse field grazes. It was sold for $17,625. Number 2, 1909 S. Penny was repunched mint mark. A highlight of Lincoln Cent offering in this sale. This phenomenal superb gem is one of the finest examples of variety certified by either major grading service. Setting in texture with a razor sharp strike from the dyes, both sides also exhibit beautiful color in a pale rose orange shade. Silky smooth surface are fully deserving of the impressive MS67 red grade from PCGS. It was sold for $16,800. Number 1, and here is 1922 No D Lincoln Sand with strong reverse. An outstanding choice uncirculated survivor of the popular and conditionally challenging 1922 No D Sand. The obverse is typically soft in strike, although all major design elements are fully appreciable in the absence of wear. 
sharply defined throughout the reverse, with ample pinkish row luster on both sides. Minimally toned, this premium quality example is more red than brown. The most desirable of three dye pairs, known for 1922 no descent. Dye pair 2 is missing the mint mark due to overzealous polishing of the obverse dye. This is representative of rare error variety in MS64 condition, ended up selling for $63,000. Thanks for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on fascinating world of collecting. See you in the next episode.